Hi, welcome to the Sterling Heights Public Library. My name is Brent. Uh, today we are going to be making German potato salad. Come on down and we'll go over the ingredients quick and then we'll go through the prep. So uh, first thing we got here is about two pounds of potatoes. These have been peeled and cut into about an uh, inch, inch and a half um, pieces. Right now I've got them sitting in a bowl of water just so they don't turn brown. Um, if you're using them right away they don't need to be soaked but uh, this is a good way to keep them from going brown. I have got about a half cup of cider vinegar here. I've got about four slices of thick um, bacon that I've uh, chopped into pieces. Uh, comes out to just under a cup. I've got about a cup of chopped uh, raw onion here. This is a tablespoon of fresh thyme. This is optional, but I like it. I've got a couple of eggs. One's hard boiled and one's raw. I've got a little salt and a little pepper. We've got our vinegar here and we've got two eggs. I mentioned one was hard boiled and one's raw. Well, if you ever uh, forget which one's which, there's a quick trick to see. A raw egg will not spin. A hard boiled one will. So if you ever lose track, your raw one is the one that you can't spin. So we're gonna take the raw egg, we're gonna crack it right into the uh, vinegar here. And that's going to be part of the dressing for our salad. The hard boiled one, we're just going to peel and chop. So that's a quick way to crack a hard boiled egg is just give it a, a wrap and roll it with a little bit of pressure on your board. And that thing should just peel relatively easily. It doesn't always come off quite that easy, but that's a good way to do it. Uh, I do have one that's already chopped and prepped here, so we're going to use that one, but that's how you peel a um, hard boiled egg. I've got a uh, about a one and a half quart saucepan here. You can use a skillet for this. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to um, render the bacon to get the fat and to crisp it up a little bit. Uh, it's going to take a few minutes for this to really get going, but put it right into a cold pan. Okay, we got Two things going on here right now. We're starting to render the bacon. We've got about a one and a half to two quart saucepan here. Um, we've got the bacon in there over low heat. You can see it's starting to um, sizzle a little bit in here, starting to render out. We're going to take this, eh, we don't have to crisp it up completely, but we want to be able to render that fat out of there because we're going to use that fat. Uh, over here on this side, I've got the potatoes going. I have got them covered with water and I've got about a tablespoon of salt in there. Uh, we don't want to overcook these, but we do want to take them up to the point where they're tender. So I do have a fork here for testing that. Once these, uh, once this bacon is rendered out too, we're going to drain the fat off. We're going to add it to the uh, egg and vinegar mixture. And then we're going to saute the um, onions in the uh, remaining bacon fat with the bacon. So you can see, I've been doing this kind of low and slow, but our bacon is getting close here. You can kind of tell because it starts to foam up a little bit. It's not there yet, but it's not very far from it. Again, we don't need to take this all the way to crispy. We're uh, really interested in just getting it started because it's not going to be crisp when it's all done anyway. It's going into the potato salad. So we're going to take the, uh, the egg and the vinegar that we did earlier. And just go ahead and give that a good stir with a fork. You want to combine that nice. But again, along with the bacon fat, that's going to be the dressing for the salad. And don't worry too much about the idea of raw egg because A, it's in there with a pretty fair amount of vinegar, which is going to neutralize any raw pretty effectively all by itself. But it's also going to go into hot potatoes, which are going to pretty much cook it through. Okay, so that bacon is just about right. I'm going to go ahead and cut off the heat and let's see go ahead and add that bacon fat right into it doesn't really matter too much if you get a little bit of the bacon in there but try not to get too much of it in there add that hot bacon fat right in there Get 
give that a good stir. And just kind of set that aside for a minute. I'll go ahead and turn this back on again on low. And then we're going to add the onions right to that pan. A little bit of fat that's still in there is going to be more than enough to cook these onions. Go ahead and stir those through. This is going to take a few more minutes, uh, but we're going to go ahead and put a few grinds of black pepper into that. And our thyme right in there. A little bit of heat is going to help release the flavors from the pepper and the thyme. And that's all going to work together very nicely. Potatoes will come up to a boil. They shouldn't be ready yet, but I am going to test them real quick here. And go ahead and hold one. And they're getting pretty close. That fork goes in there pretty easily. So we're very close on the potatoes. Give it a couple of minutes and then we'll put the whole thing together. Our potatoes are tender. We don't want them overcooked, but we do want them tender. Uh, we've got the bacon and onion mixture with the uh, thyme here. We don't really need any color on the onions. We just softened them up a little bit. Go ahead and add those right on in. And I'm just going to rinse this pan out with just a, maybe about a tablespoon more of vinegar just to get any of that goodness out of there. Get as much of the flavor out of there as we can and just go ahead and put that right in there. Now, we've got our chopped hard boiled egg here. Go ahead and drop that right in. And while this mix is all still nice and hot, We've got our raw egg, our bacon fat, and vinegar. Just pour that right over the top. And with a wooden spoon or a rubber spatula, go ahead and give that a nice stir. And you're going to find that as this comes together, the heat from potatoes and bacon and the onions and all that combined with the starch from the potatoes is going to turn that very liquid dressing, it's going to start to thicken a little bit. And it'll go from very, very loose to a nice creamy consistency in just a couple of uh, moments here, just a few stirs. Go ahead and get that last little bit in there. And go ahead and give this a quick taste, see if we need to adjust the seasoning at all. We're going to need a little more salt. And I think I'm going to add a little bit more pepper. Thyme is good. Vinegar is good. Don't underdo your vinegar. Um, that's actually a really key component to this. But as that all comes together, and pull this on the plate and that's about what she looks like so this is easy enough and quick enough for a weeknight it's good enough for a crowd works just fine with uh, you know like a roast chicken or hot dogs and hamburgers on the grill uh, German potato salad this is a good one I like this one a lot enjoy